Okay, new at 6 for you tonight. Video like this shows people walking through stalled railed cars, which can be very dangerous. It's a big question behind a unique solution at one Salt, Salt Lake City intersection. A new bike and pedestrian bridge at 3rd North, 5th West is hoping to solve safety concerns and also driver frustrations in that area. Mandy Gilbert joining us live to show us the progress happening there and what's being done at other rail crossings. Amanda. Yeah, guys, I'm told this is just a popular area for drivers and people walking. Also, I noticed today there's just a lot of trains that go by here, and that is why this spot has become a big focus for this new pedestrian bridge. Brandon and Kinghorn walks often. Every day, yeah. He says in the morning, sometimes freight trains aren't moving as fast as this one, blocking the crossing at 3rd North, so he takes a detour. He even jokes about crawling through the stalled rail cars. We're just like, instead of waiting, like maybe I roll, tuck and roll under, but I, I don't have that kind of speed. So. In reality, for years, there's been concerns about people, especially West High students, doing just that, so they're not late. Transportation Director John Larson shared this video with me from 2015. They might feel pressure to just climb through, which is really dangerous. That's why this $9 million years in the making pedestrian and bike bridge is going up. Good news is around the home stretch now. It's a solution for this spot, but Larson acknowledges. There are a lot of crossings that are, that are challenges, and um, you know, it's, it's frustrating for the residents of these communities to, to get boxed in. City Council Member Alejandro Poy says in his district, he's heard many complaints, especially from neighbors in Glendale, Rose Park, Poplar Grove, and Fair Park. Even for firefighters and, and, and police officers, it creates a barrier. So the question comes, what's next? Maybe we build more bridges like this. The big idea is, you know, can we just bury the rail? Um, that would solve a lot of problems. It would create new issues, you know, operationally. And Larson told me today Salt Lake City actually did just get a new grant to look at east and west connectivity concerns. Now, as far as this pedestrian bridge goes, it was supposed to be done pretty soon early summer, but Larson says it's a con an extensive project. Also, there was some supply chain issues during the pandemic, so it's been delayed a little bit, expected to be done now early fall, hopefully not long after school starts. So it's a, something we'll keep an eye on for sure. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV 2 News.